You're building a report in Google Analytics 4, then add a regular expression, and suddenly you get this. Why? Let me show you how to fix this. Here I have a basic exploration in Google Analytics 4, where I just look at page paths or pages, and I see how many times was each page viewed. Let's say that I want to focus my analysis only on those pages where page path contains either blogs or collections. Normally, I would have expected that a filter which uses regular expressions and that expression would look, let's say, blocks or with a pipe collections, I would have expected that this would work. But if I click apply, no data will be displayed in the report. This is happening because regular expressions in GA4 are looking for a full match. So if you have a page path, which is slash blogs slash news, and in your regular expression, you're looking for blogs. If you compare them side by side, they are not equal. Of course, this value contains this one. But in Google Analytics 4, regular expressions are looking for the exact match. So these values are not exact. So what options do you have? If you're working, let's say, with another dimension, which does not have many unique values, maybe, let's say, event name, then if you want to look only at several event names, you would just have to enter their full values, for example, page view or form submission or something like that. So if both of these values are full values, then your report would work. But in case of page path, we have a lot of different values. So it would drive me insane to write everything in a single regular expression. Plus, there are some limits in the length of your regular expression. You cannot have, let's say, a thousand character long regular expression. So what can you do? Let's go back to my previous example related to blogs and collections. So right now, these are looking for exact matches. But in regular expressions, we can tell that we are looking for partial matches. And one of the ways to do that is to use dot asterisk because dot asterisk in regex means anything. So in this case, the regular expression says anything, blogs, and then anything. It means that this word can be anywhere in the text. So if we are working with a longer page path, if blogs is anywhere in that page path, then the regular expression will work. And this would work in Google Analytics 4. So first, let's start with the very basic, not very optimal regular expression, and then we will improve it a bit. So technically, you could write it like that. Blogs with dot asterisk or collections surrounded by anything. It can be nothing and can be anything. For example, slash collections slash products would match this particular regular expression. If you add, let's say, more words than writing dot asterisk for every word would not be very optimal and very convenient. That's why we could optimize it a bit. Let's remove the dot asterisk right here and right here. And then we can group these two words together. So what this regular expression says is that we are looking for blogs or collection and they can be surrounded by anything, which basically means that this is an exact match. And if I click apply now, you will see that my regular expression works. So always keep in mind that regex in Google Analytics 4 is looking for exact matches. Maybe your regular expression or your situation is more complex, then of course you will need to do some more complex optimization, but just keep in mind that entering the usual blogs slash collection or whatever will not work unless you're working with values that are equal to blogs and collection. And that's how you can use regular expressions in GA4 explorations. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.